Hey, are you looking for a really cool way on how to freeze the action of falling snow on a cold, blustery winter day, much like I have here in the city of Chicago? Well, stay tuned, you're about to find out. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, and you are watching Adorama TV. Adorama TV presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, and I'm the author of Understanding Flash Photography, as well as the author of Understanding Exposure. As I mentioned, I'm here in cold, wintry, blustery Chicago, and it is winter. The month of February, the snow is coming down hard. In fact, today it's lake effect snow. may be difficult to see with this video, but trust me, it is blowing all around me. I'm going to be utilizing in this early morning light my flash. And you might be thinking, what are you going to light up? Believe it or not, I'm lighting up only the snow. In addition, I'm setting an ambient exposure for the somewhat stark, dark, contrasting trees that you clearly see behind me at about a minus one and a third under exposure. That will create some wonderful contrast of the illuminated snowflakes that are falling, illuminated by the strobe, against the stark contrast of those trees. Let's see how this unfolds. My ISO in this particular morning is at 400. I'm going to be shooting the composition that includes the house you see there in the background somewhat. And first, let's take an ambient exposure so you can see what's going on here. This particular exposure, 400 ISO, is 125th at f5.6. Now, I want a little more depth of field. This particular ambient exposure is this particular ambient exposure is F8 at 125th of a second. And now, without any flash, as you can clearly see, we don't really have any evidence that it's snowing. With Nikon's SP900 and the camera set on the Nikon the commander mode, I'm able to fire the flash away from the camera itself, which I do want to do. I'm going to kind of come from underneath as this picture is taken now. The same exact exposure, F8 at the 125th. The flash, in this case, is in TTL mode. That means I just put it on the remote after setting it to TTL and let it do its thing. So now we take a look at this next exposure. And as you can clearly see, the one with the flash has illuminated the snow. With the Nikon SP900 and the Nikon's flash system, I'm able to fire the camera wirelessly after setting up the menu accordingly here in the command mode. It's in the custom functions. And flash will be held somewhat below the snow, so the light will be coming up from underneath. Let's take a look at this and see how this unfolds. One, two, three. Take a look at that. I think you'll agree. We can clearly see the blowing snow. That's all there is to it. Set an ambient exposure for the scene behind you, in this case, F8, 125th of a second, to get that stark, somewhat contrast silhouetted of the trees against all the white. Then bring in the flash to illuminate the blowing snow. Pretty simple. Hey, until next time, on a cold and blustery winter day here in Chicago, this is Brian Peterson saying, you keep shooting. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.